Hey, hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jerry from the StogieReview.com, bringing you another video cigar review. It's been about uh, it's been two weeks since my Argonese Double Wrap review went up, and one last time, I wanted to thank everyone for all their their comments and feedback about that. Checking that video out, it's great to it's great to feel the uh, the comment love uh, uh, being uh, being back on. Let me adjust the camera here a little bit here. It's great. Uh, it's great having all that comment love, getting all the comment love from you folks. And you know, I forgot how much fun the review and cigars uh, can be. So today, I'm bringing you a review of uh, one, another one of my cigars that are becoming f fastly becoming one of my favorite smokes, one of my go-to smokes, you could say. Uh, and that's the uh, La Flor Dominicana Cameron Cabinet, the number one size. Uh, Brian Hewitt uh, reviewed the uh, reviewed the number five uh, back in September of 2007, and he had a, a, a good review of that, a, a solid review uh, with a with a strong he'll smoke it and buy it again verdict. Um, a few details about the La Florida Dominicana uh, Cameroon cabinet number one, uh, like the name implies, it has a it features a Cameroon wrapper, uh, it features a Dominican binder, and a, uh, a blend. Of Dominican and Nicaraguan tobaccos make up the uh, the last part, the filler. Uh, so uh, these guys uh, come; uh, they're a little expensive on the box size. They run you about two hundred sixty-five dollars a box. Um, but when you think about it, you got to factor in you get about fifty. You get fifty cigars per box. So fifty divided by two sixty-five. No math genius here, but you know, five fifty six dollars a cigar uh, if you buy them by the box. Uh, which isn't which isn't too bad, uh, just you know, as long as you like the cigar, making a a big uh, quantity purchase like that, uh, yeah, at five dollars a cigar, five six dollars isn't too bad. On the single side, you're looking seven eight bucks. Uh, pick it up as a single. So with that, it is great to be back again. Uh, I'm gonna grab all my accessories together and uh, come back. We'll cut light this guy up and uh, uh, we'll share a smoke. So. Uh, Stay tuned. Okay, okay, I am back. As you can see, I already started smoking and enjoying my Cameron Cabinet Number no. One by uh, the Florida Dominicana. Now, you didn't see me actually cut and light the cigar uh, on camera, uh, mainly because you know that's you know, there was a comment left on my Argonies Double Wrap cigar about this uh, about you know. You know how I light my cigar, or, or you know, and you know, lighting and cutting a cigar on camera is probably one of the most uncomfortable things uh, there is, and that's mainly because uh, you feel exposed. It's like I don't know, peeing in public. I don't know. It, it just just feels awkward. You feel exposed. You feel vulnerable. Yeah, it, it seems like one of the things that we get the most questions and and critiques about uh, why we do why we light a cigar a certain way, or why we cut it that way, or you know, why do we do this instead of that, and why do we zig instead of zag? Uh, and 90% of the time when someone asks us why do we do something, <laughs> the answer is always, I don't know, we just do it. <laughs> just the way I smoke. Uh, uh, but yeah, so uh, sometimes you'll see me cutting light on camera, other times you'll see me do it off, uh, just because uh depends how comfortable I'm feeling at the moment. <laughs> All right, so uh, as you, like I said, I'm started smoking my Argonese, uh, Argonese, eh, my La Flor Dominicana Cameroon number one, Cameroon cabinet number one. Uh, it's six uh, six and a half inches long with a 44 inch ring gauge. These guys come in two other sizes. Like I said, Brian reviewed the, the smaller booster size. It's five by five and a half by 50. And there's another size. Uh, it's six by six inches by 54, which is uh, seems to be at least through my source seems to be the most popular popular size as uh it's always sold out and uh but they're also the most expensive at about three hundred dollars uh a cigar mm, a cigar three hundred dollars a box <laughs> <clears throat> so far uh you know i just started smoking it uh burns off to a good start good draw um i didn't v cut it this time uh, i did a straight cut um so far you know you get a rich uh rich tobacco taste to it uh, you, you get a little, you get a little, uh, little tang to it, a little spicy tang to it. Uh, not overpowering, not offensive, not anything anyone couldn't handle. 
Um, but, you know, the one thing I love about the cigar is the aroma it puts out. I mean, and, and that's, the, that's something about uh, the majority of Cameron wrappers out there. It's just the exotic smell, the cigar burning that just draws you, draws you in, that draws, you know, even makes people around you uh, uh, take notice of the cigar. It's not offensive, but it's just an exotic smell that just, man, something here smells delicious. And, and in this case, it's the La Florida Minicana Cameron Cabinet Number 1. Um, I'm going to start off the review with just by saying that uh, the one negative thing I found over time is um, uh, there's no label on it. <laughs> and that, that's the only bad thing I can really think of. Is there's no label on it. Uh, I, uh, uh, and unless I know exactly where I put these in the humidor, which my humidor is not organized in any other way, it's just uh, uh, my, my organization system of my humidors is wherever there's space. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it could easily get lost. Being, unba being an unbanded cigar, it can easily get lost, easily uh, blend in and or me just forget what the hell it is. And uh, I know people are going to say, oh, you know, they make the, the blank CD labels that you can label yourself, things like that. But, you know, I'm lazy. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I had this problem with another unbanded cigar that I liked a lot, which was the Camacho El Legendario. Uh, and uh, eventually, eventually, uh, Camacho ended up putting a foot on, a bane on the foot to help uh, identify it. And I think uh, the Rocky Patel Edge missiles or whatever uh, also uh, do the same thing. So, so far, everything's going great. Uh, like I said, you know, nice, uh, rich, earthy tobacco taste to it so far, a little bit of spice to it. Uh, but uh, I know from past experience that's going to change. So I'm going to take a quick break, enjoy my La Florida Minicana Cameroon cabinet, and come back and uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. All right, I am back. As you can see, I'm about a third of the way. That's kind of cool, though. Smoke coming off the top of my head. Anyways, I'm about a third of the way into my uh, La Florida Minicana Cameroon cabinet. It is going great. Uh, Flavor-wise, it's kind of starting to evolve, starting to get better to that uh, nice little sweet, that su uh, natural tobacco taste is slowly turning into like a, turning to a sweet flavorish uh, and a little bit of hints of a, a nuttiness here. Uh, it's just getting uh, uh, better and better. And I wish, I wish, I wish there was a way you guys could, could you know, you hear Emerald on Food TV when he was on Food Network talk about smell -o vision I really wish you had smell -o vision because these guys are just smell so, so wonderful. It's just a a great smelling cigar, which also, you know, you know affects all the other senses, and, and, and it's part of the reason why the cigar is just so magnificent. Uh, but it's going great, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm loving it. Um, you know, one email I got uh, from uh, uh, the past two weeks was asking me now that I'm only doing reviews every two weeks, I hope to be doing more, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, I'm only promising every two weeks. Um, if I could give everybody a heads up on what I'm, what I'm going to be smoking, uh, so people could go out and grab it and things like that. You know, I'm not one of those people who, who smoke on a schedule. I don't lay things out. It's just open up the humidor or whatever it looks good to me at the moment. Um, but, uh, uh. But now that we do a, a seven, so you read does a seven day a week post, I guess I got to do a little more organization, <laughs> a little more scheduling. Uh, some things I'm working on, I'm working on uh, a review of the uh, of the Punch Grand Crew. Uh, this Punch Grand Crew is from the Maduro version. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, one of those cigars from uh, JR Cigars uh, with that vintage, certified vintage, uh, I don't know what you call it, program line whatever their certified vintage thing they got going on over there so I've been working on uh, reviewing uh, the Punch Grand Crew Maduro from that uh, to go along with you know Brian Hewitt just did a review of the ITC split decision the quad the four uh, four wrapper one four wrapper one uh, uh, I'm working on reviews of the of the double and the triple which are, are going pretty well pretty interesting uh, uh, I, you know, I agree with Brian Hewitt's review of the, of the quad. If one just didn't do it, I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, all because you can do it, yeah, maybe you shouldn't do it. Yeah, it looks great. It's great. It's, you know, it's a, no, it's one of those novelty ones, definitely, in my opinion. Uh, it looks good, but doesn't smoke good. 
Um, what else am I working on? Oh, I'm also working on finishing up my uh, series of reviews of the CI Legend series. Um, you know, I've done the green, the yellow, and I believe the orange line. So uh, I got the uh, white, white label, which is the Camacho one, and the, uh, uh, I believe it's the maroon, and I believe it's Nestor Placencia. Not sure on that, but whichever one this Nestor Placencia does, I think it's I think it's maroon. Uh, uh, I'm working uh, on that, uh, and you know while I was gone, uh, uh, Walt and Brian they did all kinds of lists. You know the top uh, five smokes for beginners and top five premium cigars, top five, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and I. That was that looked so much fun. I, you know, I wish I was here. I wish I was around for that to participate in those things. Uh, but I'm working on, you know, I'm a big morning smoker, so I'm gonna be working on a uh, uh, a list of my own, the top five morning cigars. Uh, so that should be pretty fun to do. Uh, so you know, I got a lot of things lined up here that I'm working on, and uh, I think it's gonna be fun. I sat in on Thursday night. Yeah, Thursday night. I sat in on episode 30 of YQMA. I don't want to give too much away because I know this video is supposed to be published before. Uh, I better stop shaking the table. Before uh, this video is supposed to be published before YQMA, so I don't want to give too much away. But it was a great episode. I didn't. I wasn't on camera. I just uh, listened in and contributed every now and then, uh, talking to uh, not talking but typing away to the to Walt and Brian. And we also had Tom and Ed from the guys who do some of our our guest reviews. Uh, video guest reviews and it was just a great time and uh, I can't make I can't wait to uh, get back involved uh, uh, in YQMA and so uh, be on the lookout for my return and and when Walt makes the call makes the call for getting your questions in uh, please 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 get them in because those things are so much uh, fun to do uh, anyways I'm gonna stop babbling here uh, I'm gonna finish up smoking my La Flor Dominicana Cameroon Cabinet, Cameroon Cabinet Number One, and uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll come back uh, uh, past as I get uh, you know I don't want to make the video too long so I'll come back uh, towards the end of the cigar maybe when I'm in my final third and uh, check with me then and wrap things up. So like I said the other two times, other time, stay tuned. See ya. Okay, okay. I am back, finishing up my, in the final third of my La Florida Minicana Cameron Cabinet number one. And you know, I gotta say, it is a fantastic cigar. I'm even gonna put it in the category of cigars. I think I put only put two other cigars in. Uh, the first one was the Rocky Patel Sun Grown. The other one is the Ramon Alona Special Select the Cuban Cigar. And that category is the Wow Cigar. Uh, and I think it's just a cigar that entices all your senses. I mean, from the aroma, to the feel, to the flavor profile, to to just everything about the cigar just uh, is amazing. Just wow. It's just, it's like you can't believe human hands created this shit. You think some kind of divine intervention uh, came into play here. It's just one of those cigars that I don't think anyone would be disappointed with. Uh, you know, it starts off, uh, you know, like I said, a rich earthy tobacco taste, and then you know, it, it kind of transforms. It still has that spicy, subtle flavor throughout the cigar, but it transforms and it starts adding things like a rich uh, a nuttiness t to it, uh, a little bit of sweetness to it. It's just a, a cigar uh, that just just wows you. That just it's just an eye opener. That just you know really, really, uh, uh, it's just a really good cigar, a wow cigar. You know, I, I don't know what else how else to put it. Uh, I don't think anyone out there would be disappointed. I think it's it's. Uh, it's it's the flavors uh it is an easy enough smoke for the novice to smoke um uh for the novice smoke but yet sophisticated enough for for the the aficionados out there i guess I, I don't know i'm not i don't consider myself one but uh i i think it's just one of those cigars at any level of expertise you're at with cigars or whether you like mild mild body cigars to full body cigars this is one of those middle of the road cigars that meets you right in the middle that that, that just I think it's hands down it's just a, a great cigar that no one will be disappointed with. So, uh, so if you see them at your local B and M, uh, 
it, it might be a little hard to find. So you might have to, if, if you know of a local B&M that has a lot of uh, La Florida Dominicana events, you might be able to find them there. I know uh, Cigars International offers them in five packs for around $30-ish dollars for a five pack. Yeah, so don't be afraid to pick it up. Um, it's not much to look at, but it, it, the feel of it, uh, the aroma of it, the flavors of it, uh, like I said, you you uh, uh, you will not be uh, disappointed by picking these guys up. You know, I, I even encourage you to skip the singles, skip the five packs, just go ahead and invest in a in a, in a box of fifties. Uh, I think uh, this is a uh, one of those go-to cigars that uh, just be a good time. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to get all philosophical on you and shit uh but it's just that good of a of a it's just that good of a of a cigar here um so that pretty much sums up my review of the uh care room cabinet by the florida minicana uh it's gonna be uh two weeks before you see this ball of beauty again so uh you know who am i kidding you know uh you're probably seeing me sooner or rather than later, so you'll see me before that. Uh, and uh, until next time. So until then, and yeah, until next time. Uh, as always, I hope everyone has a great, great week ahead of them. So uh, until next time, folks. As always, take care and uh, long guys. We may see my We may see my Sepa con sa, sepa con sa, oui, pas le français.